I've probably seen more dead people, and this is a true story, more dead people than I have dead deer. You know, my, my, most of my career, 13, almost 14 years in the Navy, I've been telling sailor stories. Uh, the write-up said, detained level one insurgent by unorthodox application. But the story is actually, I was in part of a, a stack, is what it is, when Jundies, the Iraqi military, and I was gonna be the first to document it, but they were trying to get in one, you know, there's like 15 of them. I was the first, you know, a military member with my video camera and they couldn't get in the door they were trying to get in. It was a reinforced door. They're backing the Humvee into it. And they're like, I remember the master sergeants, go in the next building, go in the next building. And there was only two guys in front of me and then the door. So one guy goes in, goes right, one next guy goes left. And I'd come in straight and I'm like trying to transition my, um, cam my video camera. And I just put it in its carrier and I'm pulling up my uh, camera. And this person, this big, huge, fat guy dr drops in front of me in this courtyard and we both started screaming he had a weapon and he's trying to pull the weapon and I was screaming and I grabbed my camera, I mean strap was hanging and I just swung and hit him over the head and then ran out of there. See, I've been doing nature photography for close to 26 years. And when you shoot with a gun, you can look through a scope, you pull the trigger, the animal's dead with a, with a, with, with a camera. The challenge of capturing a photograph of, of let's just say a turkey is through woods with your depth of field is tree, 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 which means I have to manually focus on a moving subject two to three, you know, 100 to 300 yards out. So that's just one example. One day a week, at least minimum, one full day a week, I'm in the woods pretty much all day. For me, I've been doing it so long that I know that it's, it's where I find peace and, and, you know, coping with coming back from the wars, the wars and everything and get married and have kids. It's, it's one place that I can find silence and it's one place that I can, uh, you know, get away and remember my childhood and know, you know, because that was always a happy place for me. So, uh, you know, it is an obsession, but it's healthy because, you know, it's where I find peace. It's where I go.